director of the Eurasia Democracy Initiative, an international nonprofit organization dedicated to the promotion of democracy, he joins us now from Kiev. Thanks for being with us, as always, Peter. If Navalny survives this ordeal, how do you envision, you know, what role he might play in Russia's opposition movement? Or will he be too scared after this to be as visible as he used to be? Well, I'm afraid, Mr. Navalny, and we, we, we're certainly all praying that he survives, and not only that, that he survives, but that he survives in good health. Uh, the doctors are saying that it is far from clear whether Mr. Navalny will be able to function all, all that well if he survives. This, the, the poisoning was quite severe. Uh, Mr. Navalny uh, has been, the last few years, probably the most visible uh, opposition leader and uh, the one uh, that presented the greatest risk to Mr. Putin and his regime. Uh, he operated for all these years with courage, knowing full well that he, uh, you know, was risking life every day. So I don't think this would cow Mr. Navalny uh, to seize his operations, but he may have to remain abroad for his own good. It is clear that uh, if this is indeed uh, a, a, the, the doing of Mr. Putin and his coterie, that they will not leave him alone, that Mr. Navalny crossed some uh, serious lines and presented a serious danger to Kremlin that is feeling very uncertain uh, with uh, demonstrations going on in Khabarovsk in the Far East and with demonstrations going on in Belarus. Right. It is. It's very difficult to say what kind of condition he will be in uh, when he does hopefully leave hospital entirely. But in the meantime, I mean, what kind of testimony uh, are investigators looking to him to hopefully be able to provide in his own case, in the investigation into his poisoning? How dangerous would that be for the Kremlin if he does emerge being able to speak and remember everything that happened? Well, it, indeed, it will be very difficult because Mr. Navalny is, don't forget, he's in Germany. Germany is probably the most important Western uh, country for Russia. Germany is about to complete the remaining 90 kilometers of the $11 billion pipeline North Stream. And the Germans, Merkel and her people, have been making noises that they may have to delay the construction of this final stretch. And that we're talking billions and billions of dollars for the Russians. Germany is more important for Putin than uh, Washington. So obviously, should Navalny survive and stay in Germany, he will be uh, at pains to move the German political establishment further away from Putin. He will be lobbying hard for sanctions against Russia and making life difficult for those in Germany who want closer relations and therefore making life more difficult for Putin. Right. It is very interesting that you point out that Germany is a particularly important partner uh, for the Russian economy. And as you'll remember last week, you know, Germany decided to tell NATO and the European Union, uh, we need you to move forward on pressuring Russia because uh, it can't just be about Germany. They need the entire alliance behind them on the same page if real action is going to be taken uh, right. against Moscow. I mean, how, how worried do you think Moscow is about that prospect right now? Well, it's very unpleasant for Moscow. Uh, you know, uh, uh, apart from Germany um, and the problems with, uh, for German-Russian relations, we're also talking about France and Macron has recently proposed a, a dialogue with Russia, and now that is obviously threatened following this uh, um, joint statement by NATO. Uh, Putin has proposed uh, to for the five nuclear powers to meet. Now that meeting is under threat as well, as well as other international organizations. So this may be a moment for the Western alliance uh, to start, you know, it's heart searching in, in earnest, the way they never really did before. And that could lead to further sanctions, that could lead to targeted sanctions. Uh, I'm very, I'm skeptical as to uh, how soon that will come. But at the very least, you can say that uh, whatever happened with Navalny is not going to endear more Europeans uh, to Putin. Okay, Peter Zalmaya, great to have you. Thanks so much, as always, for being with us.